Hey guys, it's Robin and you may have heard me mention on my vlog that I am in the process of clearing out my storage unit. So I thought it would be fun to go through some of these crates I have here. They are filled with like old magazines and newspapers and I need to get rid of them all. So I was thinking this might be a nice way for me myself to kind of scrapbook these memories and share with you and kind of question what was I thinking saving all this stuff. There's Penny of course too. Um, I am feeling a little squished here with these two crates. Um, so magazines, they're like blogs, but on paper. Some of you may have heard of them. That's a Craig Ferguson joke. Um, so, wow, this one is so old that it was, it came to my apartment when I lived in Connecticut in the year, it's from um, December, 1989. They did a series of magazines on, um, the 20th century at the end. I bet a lot of you people who watch my videos weren't even born back then, but, um, so person of the century from Time Magazine, Albert Einstein, still have this issue and it just has all these really cool and interesting articles. I collected all these end of the century, um, uh, magazines because I just thought it was really cool. Oh, here's an old Entertainment Weekly. Oh, this is awesome. This is from, Let's see, this is when I lived cliffside. Um, yeah, so this is from Star Wars when, uh, <laughs> I guess this one was Attack of the Clones and that came out. That is crazy that I still have this. I, I wanna kind of look at some of these before I totally toss them. Um, I've been reading Entertainment Weekly since then. <gasps> oh, George Harrison. This is when George Harrison died. Mm. Yeah, one of my favorite Beatles. I mean, there's only four, so it's kind of hard to... And this was also Time Magazine for when George Harrison died. These are actually still in really good condition, these magazines. Maybe I'll save the covers or something in a scrapbook. I don't know. I want to get rid of stuff. Crossword puzzles and such. I used to really like to do um, logic puzzles and crosswords and things because back then we still had dial-up. So here's another one, January 2000, back when we were all obsessed with Y2K and all that stuff. Um, this one is a time, year, and review from 1949. I don't know why I have this magazine. I don't know if I bought this. I, I think it's Winston Churchill on the cover. Um, sometimes people would buy me weird stuff like that. Hmm, historical essays on Douglas College where I went to school. Class of 98. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Here's Entertainment Weekly's 100 Years of Rock from the year 1999. That is so crazy. Um, time, 75th anniversary issue. Also, let's see, what year was this one? 1998. Here's a, an advertisement for Apple computers before, like, you know, iPhones were a thing. I don't even know if iPods were a thing in 1998 yet. It's old ancient history. Oh, they don't really rank them. They just have different things over the years. Like Woodstock, the Beatles rooftop concert. There's really cool illustrations though too. Like, that's awesome. And very cool. I don't know, I find this stuff fascinating. 100 times the century's greatest mind. So here on the cover, we've got Freud and um, Albert Einstein. That's cool. That's a nice illustration too. Is Feminism Dead from uh, also 1998? Oh wow. The Greatest Artists of the Century. And on here, there's Lucille Ball, um, Spielberg, Bob Dylan. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Hirschfeld, drawn by Hirschfeld. That's so cool. Leaders and revolutionaries. I used to get subscriptions to all these magazines of Time and Newsweek, and I read them pretty religiously. Time 100, Builders and Titans. Very cool. <laughs> the Monica Lewinsky story from Newsweek, 1998. Oh my goodness. Here's a Frank Sinatra memorial issue. I still remember when he died because May, this was for May 25th, 1998. 
I was um, actually interviewing for my job up in Connecticut when that happened. Here's the 2000 issue from Noob's Week. These covers are great. Oh my gosh. And the People's Unforgettable Women of the Century. <laughs> oh my goodness. Heroes and Icons. It's an Influential People series. Here's 100 Greatest Moments in Television. That is so cool. There were a lot of those kind of issues back in 1999, heading into the new century. Wow, okay, this I'm going to keep. I actually am going to put this in my new album. So this is a cover. It's a poster. Um, this is the front page from the paper where I worked in the year 2001 for 9-11. Um, and this is a photograph taken by my friend Ricky Flores. And it was a pretty powerful cover. And... The guy who designed this cover drove back from Canada that day to to put this together. That was dedicated journalism. Um, that's amazing. That's an amazing find. Okay, so for, so for some reason, I also kept these old calendars. 2003, and they have all these fun um, pictures of the Simpsons. I don't know what I was going to do with these, but I still have them. There's another one here from 2004 <laughs> Penny this is before you were born for sure all kinds of funny illustrations I don't know I don't know why I kept those but it's pretty cool so then this other crate is just filled with oh there's some magazines too there's a friends the best of friends that's pretty funny this is from 2001 Special collector's issue. That's funny. Um, yeah, so these are all papers that I saved from my career in newspaper design. Um, and you guys may also know my career in newspaper design is coming to an end um, because the studio where I work is closing down. And um, yeah, but this is what I've been doing for the last... I don't know, since 1998, however long that is, 18 years or so. Um, and this is kind of the history of my career in a lot of ways. Like, this is from April 2003, War with Iraq. I still remember this really well. Um, one on one into Baghdad. These are all, so these are all pages that I don't know if I designed them all or if I kept them because they were just, um, interesting news we used to do these little wrap-ups every day which i thought was really interesting um there's always lots of different news also these pages are really wide they've shrunk over the years like the size of the paper that's kind of interesting to me too this is just something i saved about the simpsons this is like 50 chalkboard declarations um 15 favorite six actors 44 voices Let's see. So this is USA Today, and it's just all different facts about The Simpsons, which has gone on to quite. This is from 2003, and The Simpsons are still on the air. Uh, this is a section I used to design called Date in the Life, which was always really fun to do. Um, we would send a team of reporters and editors into um, a town for a day. They would kind of invade the town and just cover different things that were happening. And we'd have a little timeline at the bottom of different things that went on. And it was just all just different stories about um, the community. And it was one of my most favorite things to work on. There's usually a center spread with like lots of photos. All the different things going on in town. And it was always really, really fun to put together. Oh, all these papers are making me a little itchy. There's another one from Baghdad. Oh my gosh. The newspaper design has changed so much. We don't even really put that much national world news on the covers anymore because the interest is more uh, local um uh, here's one these are another one of those day in the life papers these were just always so much fun to work on and they just told like interesting little stories about communities and just interesting people who live there another one really pretty photo oh my goodness i have a bunch of these copies ah. this is a rolling stone commemorating 9-11 from um, 
This is from October 2001. <laughs> Here's a Paul McCartney poster from 2002. I think that's the year. Oh my gosh, this is when I saw Paul McCartney. So funny story about this. I was in the hospital and I needed to have my gallbladder removed, but I checked myself out against doctor's orders because I had tickets to see Paul McCartney. So this might be something I need to keep too. I might put that in my album. <laughs> There's so much stuff in here. More of these day in the life. Um, this is one Bush won the election. And that was like a really crazy, um, that night, election night in 2000, I was at work till about 4 a.m. <laughs> we were waiting to see what happened. This is a big story on gun length to death. So I don't know what this was about exactly, but big breaking news. How about this? This is um, a photo from Ground Zero, where now we have the beautiful memorial and the new tower. And this was that um, 2002 Remembrance. That's amazing. I also designed a lot of these like B covers, which I don't I don't remember which ones I did or not, but I have a lot of those. Here's a picture of Bono that I saved. That is pretty cool. There's a George Harrison from the Daily News. Wow, that's something. That's December 1st, 2001. And this is the Rolling Stone issue about George Harrison. That was a really bad year for me, you guys. 2001 was, was kind of rough. Um, let's see, what's all this stuff? Robin, great save on this story. I guess there was some kind of error that I caught, so I got a nice little note about that. Don't remember what that was anymore. And... Oh, and that was for my job in Norwich. How about that? Yeah, that was when I worked in Connecticut, even. Um, that was my first job out of college. I worked for the Norwich Bulletin. Oh, this was another section that I worked on. Oh my gosh. This was a really, um, a section which was similar to the day in life, but it was the, it was the day in life of a hospital and it was called Managing to Care. And it was pretty much um, 120 hours our reporters and photographers spent at a hospital and reported all the different things that were going on and it was pretty amazing. And I edited all the stories, wrote all the headlines. It's a pretty cool project. I'm just really proud of that. This is an article I wrote in probably 1994 about um, a program in my high school. Let's see. I don't know what year it was. Someone wrote, excellent, very well written, definite flair for journalism. Very proud, BC. Oh, I know, that was my mom's boss, BC. BC. That's funny. Here's a press release about um, my brother who won a scholarship. That's kind of funny. This is a girl I went to high school with. Two of my friends from high school. My friends, uh, that's Rosario and Kevin. This was the Jersey Journal back in the day. I think I just saved this one because they were friends of mine. I think I probably referred the reporter to, to the story. Other story about a friend of mine. It's my friend Theo who, who uh, won a scholarship. This is another story. Friends of mine. Um, <laughs> this is an article written by one of my friends from the high school. Um, I have a lot of copies of these papers. This is another one written by a friend of mine about our high school um, journalism program. Oh, and here's one that was about me. Uh, this winning Robin takes flight with the right stuff. Isn't that a cheesy headline? I had won a scholarship. Robin Cabana wants to move the world with her writing, and with the help of her recent award, she might just do it. Cabana, a senior at Memorial High School and editor-in-chief of the memo, has been named best journalist in the state by the Garden State Press Association. So, yeah, that was me. It says, I love to write, Cabana said. I'd like to share what I learned about, <laughs> about other people with the rest of the world. 
That is pretty funny. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. <laughs> oh, and here's another article about me. <laughs> That's me on the phone. This is an article about our the summer interns. Um, and it also happened to be me. I think I was the youngest one on staff. I was 18 that summer. This is um, 1994. Very interesting find here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go through these and maybe take some pictures and stuff. Oh, and here I was up in the skybox, up in the teaser. There was a picture of me. I think I was talking to my boyfriend on the phone when they were taking my picture. <laughs> that's what I used to do. It's pretty funny. Oh, those are amazing. Um, there were a lot of protests over Amadou Diallo in when was this 2000? So long ago. Here's another copy of Managing to Care. Wow, here's a this is an oldie. The loss of JFK Jr. Wow. This looks like um <laughs> this is funny. Why can't Hudson County get any respect it's from the New York Times? Just something I saved. Another one of the day in the life sections. I have quite a few of these. Scarsdale. Oh my goodness, this is so amazing. This is um, USA Today from 9 11. Save. Wow. So long ago. Another cover from 2001, September 13th. And our photographers were down there, and our reporters were down there like every day. In the middle of everything it was so crazy um they really went through so much wow here's a record from uh september 14 2001 the burden record i saved a bunch of these this is 2001 september 13th as well Whew. 4,700 people missing and I don't know if it would be in this issue. One of my jobs, um, and I was really protective of this page, was um, a tribute page that we ran every day. Geez, look at this mess. This is something. So we used to run these tribute pages every day with, with uh, mugs of all the people missing and who had, who had died. And... Um, that was my job for a couple months, and I was very protective of that page to the point where I would see the list of names in my sleep. It was probably not a good thing. This is a really famous photo that um, was taken by Stephen Schmidt. Um, I think it was also featured in Time Magazine. That's one of the kids who lost his mom. It's really heartbreaking. To this day, it's still really heartbreaking. Oh my gosh, I'm going to cry just looking at that. Um, this is from one of, when they started having funeral services. Here's that cover. I think I need to save one of these. I think this is a special report I worked on called Grading Our Schools. I am just covered in newsprint right now. <laughs> And that was what was nice about these sections, and this is from 2001 in July, but they were just like a lot of nice positive news in the midst of all this tragedy, you know, in the New York area. We, we lost a lot of people in the attacks, and, um, you know, it was a hard time for us, so it was good to have all these um, positive stories from day in the life. What is this? Oh, this is the Subway Series, and we had the Yankees and Mets in the World Series. We had a huge section on that. And you guys, I do not care for baseball, so that was that was a test of my um, patience and creativity. <laughs> this was a we did these big pages on the GOP convention in Philly back in 2000. I saw some of those. Wow, 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 wow. Grading schools. This is a cool cover. Grading schools. Lots of big numbers and photos about the school system. These kids are probably all grown up right now. It's 
kind of interesting to me. Here's another section on George Harrison. These have been in my storage for a long time, too. Oh, my goodness. And here's the R cover from that day. Fans gently weep. Oh, so, yeah, that's my, uh, my career in journalism in a couple boxes and some other stuff that I've been hoarding all these years. And I don't know. I think it's just kind of fun to look back and remember some of this. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to maybe keep maybe three or four sections, but not that much because it's just way too much stuff and this paper's getting old and yellow and gross. But it was really fun to look back. And, uh, yeah, so let me know if you guys remember any of these moments and if you've kept any magazines or newspapers over the years. I love to hear about. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you'll hit that little subscribe button. It looks like my face. And then over here on Penny, there's going to be a link to another video that you can watch and check out as well. And thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being awesome. Bye!